Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And a very now tired wife joining our video. And on today's venture, actually, let's not say that today. Okay. The venture continues. We've been on oh, an adventure a lot today. Wait, but do you believe it's me? Am I really tired? Am I not tired? I think Joey's actually <laughs> exhausted. So on today's adventure, we have landed right here in Atlantic City. Oh, I got her. Yeah, you'll, you'll get the joke. She's doing a joke, but we haven't got there yet. So I'm exhausted. We have landed in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And we are about to go to one of my favorite attractions. We travel the country going to all of them. I don't know if it's one of your favorites. I know you go because of me. I think you enjoy them. I think I like the aquarium a whole lot more than um, actually the. Well, no, 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 the music. Depends is on the music. Yeah. So we, we're, in case you couldn't figure it out, we're at a Ripley's. Believe it or not, we do like them. This is going to be the fourth one we filmed this year, or fifth one. I don't know. We have a bunch. We're still going to a bunch. I don't know. I'm trying to hit almost as many as we can in a year. I'm not going to get all around the country, but we're yeah. getting a lot. East Coast, we got that. Um, not Florida, but we're we're, 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 we're doing good. But I'm a little tired too. Rambling. <laughs> So we're here in Atlantic City and we're gonna to go to the Ripley's Believe It or Not. So step right up, let's go for this ride. Believe it or not, that's what Joey's saying. She's tired, not tired, get it, believe it or not, if she's tired or not. Do you not believe it? Do you believe it? The globe just crashed into the building. It's falling apart. Joy. What? We've been to Oh my god. Is this something I don't know about? We've been to Wildwood, we've been to Ocean City Tate, Atlantic City now. I thought I put the restraining order on The Zoltar man is still following you and stalking you. I thought I put the restraining order on him. This cool geisha lady is actually made of camel bones. And this... Oh! Do you want to tell my fortune? No? Well then I'm just going to take a look at your gypsy wagon, gypsy woman. This one is over 100 years, wow, it looks hand painted. You can step on it. You step it on the 100 year old wagon, I don't know if you're allowed to. I feel special now. There's a gypsy woman sleeping. I see her in the mirror. I hope she doesn't put a curse on us, Joy. It's a Fiji mermaid. Saint world's greatest fake. This curious object was once exhibited as a genuine mermaid. Incredible. As it may sound, thousands of people set paid 25 cents in 1842 to see P.T. Barnum's Fiji mermaid. Coral skull is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Found in Key West. Joy's lighting up the lithopanes. This one is pretty cool. That's cute. I like this one. This is beautiful. The painting on it was restricted to one small community in Germany, and one fact in particular: when the factory was destroyed in World War One, the art form completely disappeared, making litho paints one of Germany's rarest forms of fine china. Wow. Lunar dust. Pretty cool. It's when a meteorite is laser cut, dust is created. There was used to be a wrestler, and he would tell me about it. Gold His name was no. No. His name was Stardust. Oh. <laughs> right family, wrong dust. I said wrong dust in the yeah. family. <laughs> I like that the spacecraft launch key. The term "bite the bullet" was made because insurgents would have them bite it oh, for pain. in lieu of antiseptic. A wounded soldier would bite the bullet in his mouth and bite down on it to help prepare for the pain of surgery. I like these made beef bone dominoes. And you can never go on a French art. It's crazy what people do with this spare time. Look at the model ship. Beef bones and wood. Man, it's crazy. Man in prison. Oh, that's just cool. 19th century prosthetic limb. Joy, I didn't kill my wife. It was the one armed man! <laughs> Space flag flown on the Gemini 7, 1965. This, this is something that I don't know, Joy, if it's that nightmares are made of or acid trips. <laughs> this is Michael Jordan made up of Michael Jordan. 
I like the tip of the nose. My grandfather was a stamp collector, so I can appreciate Geisha stamp art. <gasps> La cucaracha, la cucaracha. We have Louis Armstrong, Bob Marley, and Paul Stanley from Kiss. All made out of cockroaches. And here we have Marilyn Monroe cockroach and Elvis Presley cockroach. Oh, no, no, they're crickets. My mistake. These ones are cockroaches. These are crickets, because we also have Beyonce cricket. Oh, these poor beetles. They were turned into Cyborg Air Force. That's beautiful, the hand painted butterfly. That is really You can see it's a palm tree and it's a beach scene. Enjoy. We found a cool case. I'm gonna save the best for last in it, but we'll start over here. We have a genuine wolf batinger. They they're from Bavaria. This one, he seems to be a fusion of a owl and a rabbit. They have a little picture here if you want. There's other wolf and batingers that could it be made. Translates to mean a curious flying creature that lives in woods, lakes, or mountains. So pretty much anything that could fly. That one does look curious. And behind it we have these amazing hand-painted vampire bats. I like this one. It looks like it has a piranha on it. Oh yeah. Keep your goldfish away from that painted bat. And then one of my favorite things I look for are all the Ripley's vampire killing kit. But here it is, Joy. Are you ready to see it? Don't be scared, folks at home. It's him. It is the Jersey Devil. The most extraordinary monster on a record in America is the New Jersey Devil. A legendary creature believed to have been born of a witch in Burlington Township, New Jersey in 1735. It was the Jersey Devil, Joy. Did he scare you off? It did, but I wanted to be protected by a dog. It's Sloki! Bicycle board dog. And we also have a little bicycle poodle here. I like that. Unusual mail. Someone mailed the fraudulent slippers. And another person mailed a mailbox. I've seen like uh, coconuts from Hawaii and that, but never a mailbox mail. Oh, I do like this antique jukebox. I don't know if this looks like a pepper grinder, hookah, steampunk, wine opener, slime contraption. Ah, oh, World Traveler 2. Inspired by Jules Verne, a hot air balloon. Made out of ordinary kitchen utensils, household appliances, and a child's globe. Ooh, the regulars. Crocodile man. Human unicorn. And the lighthouse man. Lighthouse Man's one of my favorites. If I had a hole in my head, I'd put a candle in it too. That's just awesome. I've never seen one of these in my life. I'm being lunchbox. I am a little upset with myself. It's a light bulb egg warmer. You put your egg in there and it would heat it up. That ring is a size 25. Ooh, from the Viking Giant. And the double eyed man. Lee Chong. I had two sets of pupil in each eye. This guy always creeps me out. Avelino Perez Matos of Cuba. Dislocate his eye. The eye poppers always do it. And so does Popeye Perry. Eyes creep me out. Gotta always give Willie Campers a high five as you pass through to the door to the next room. Crazy Arts and Crafts Studio. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Family can get to work and mom can sew you clothing as you go. Scrapping on the chicken egg scoop. I was liking this uh, this train though. It's really cool. And the, the newspaper jewelry flowers are really cool. I was telling me this this actually literally is made from every song of the America the Beautiful. So read it to me, Joy. No, that'll take too long. You call me over to see it. So read it to me. So you look at it. It's a statue. Oh, okay. I see it. I see it. So you don't want to read it. I got it. This bridge made entirely out of matchsticks with i have to say i feel it's a little safe that's a lot of locomotives crossing this train bridge they all got to get somewhere it's, it's the sydney harbor bridge actually 
this bridge I do want to go to is one of the few bridges you can take tours and actually walk along the top. One day we'll get to the city of Australia and we will do that walk on that bridge. So it's saying count the number of F's in the following text. Did you get? I got six F's. That's what I got. Yay! Ooh, I like this scissor spider. Oh, that is pretty cool. What is the, um, Everyone gets screwed. African Queen. It's pretty cool. This corrugated cardboard by JFK is crazy. They stacked it in cardboard. So. What do we have here? America. Ooh, Abraham Lincoln life mask and hat. I never like this. The four freedom. These were used as ads. Painted by Norman Rockwell. Lessen the amount of dough if the hole in the donut were enlarged. No. I was right, dude. I was right. I love these things carved out of like single pieces of wood, chains. I like the aloha. Aloha is cool. Wood whittling carved out of single piece of wood. Julia Roberts out of M&M. You look mighty tasty, Julia Roberts. Just because I love me some M&M's. I want you to be made out of cardboard. Uh -huh. Actually, to recycle. Ooh, Joe DiMaggio on a painted bean. Can we zoom in close enough? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You can probably go closer. Yeah. We see him. It's Joe DiMaggio. Joey, my mom always says she wants Beatles stuff. Yeah. Should I get her the Beatles made out of yeah. chewing gum? Oh, Joe, be careful. The building It's still collapsing even inside. Look, it's shaky. Don't shake. I'm trying not to. This is cool, seeing that we are in Atlantic City. Having a roulette wheel set up made out of jelly beans. Pretty cool and pretty tasty, I might say. That'd be for my mom, the Beatles hair. Actual strands from the four famous mop toms. I'm sorry, Mr. Oh, what are you just saying this? Oh, he's trying to take your photo. I should tell him, Joy, he needs to turn on his flash. $100,000 from 40 cool. gallons of blue and the Chateau in miniature. The only exhibit in miniature of its kind in the world. First exhibit at Atlantic City Steve Bureau, over 30 years in the making. So detailed, it has stunned the experts. Contains one and three quarters tons of wood, 40 gallons of beans, over 7,000 miniature wood screws. This is the cathedral. I like that. Yeah, it's just crazy. Fun. But I do like that this Ripley's has this piece of Atlantic City history. A we are not. The French Tomasco's Chapel, George Tomasco. Here we have the reception. Here we have the rectory. For a holy room. They have a lot of knights in armor. Ooh, this would be our one of your rooms, Joy, the wine room. Yes. These are crazy miniatures. Ooh, the kitchen. Joy, can we build this kitchen in our house? Does it come with its own well? It does come with its own well. Joy, if I don't behave, do I get sent to the dog house? I don't know, I think that's too good. This is a pretty good dog house. I do like that they do have you get a miniature human skull thing in here. Uh -huh. You know why there's only the skull there? Why? The dog's buried all the other bones. <laughs> I'll take this. Yeah. I like the, the color of your room. It's a nice green. A cute little curtain. Mm-hmm. The art room is cool. So besides making all these miniature sculptures, he makes all these miniature paintings yeah, to go in, the, in it. Look, 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 look at the miniature the Last Supper. He did the miniature um, medical skeleton thing. Miniature medical skeleton. We have the ladies room over here. I've never seen a bathroom like this. That is some swimming pool you have there. You know, pretty decorated. Mm-hmm. But we can't take the dining room. I like 
right there. Has this whole keg right there. Ah, that's pretty cute. Nice fireplace. Here we have the billiards room. It's so small that they don't play eight ball, they only play three ball. <laughs> it's insane with the chairs. Yeah, the chairs are crazy. Also, Joe, I didn't know it's so late. We gotta get home soon. Mm. We have the rear courtyard here. Full of some unicorns, some big hats, some nice carriages. We actually have some real unicorns living in the stable. And a barbershop. Oh, this 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 spot had everything. Even little elephants, a small barber pole. The throne room. Ah. You see why this thing took 30 years of this guy's life. Ah. Music room. The look. We have, this is the lower veranda. Ooh, and then the study. I like this study. It's a beautiful little library out here. And then oh, I guess we have the entrance. Oh no! I guess I guess they have alligators guarding the moat, and then unicorns as well. And what's the last thing? Oh wait, last thing we have is the side courtyard. It's coming into fall, I can see they're they're picking apples. It's apple season. Joy, yeah. is it true? Before, Before marriage. marriage. Look at look how happy the, the bride and the groom are. And then let's just see what happens if you spin it, Joy. After marriage. Ooh, they look like bitter old people. True love. When I die, I hope Joy does this. Deeply grieved by her husband's execution in 1618, Lady Raleigh embodied Sir Walter's head and carried it on a silk pillow with it everywhere she went for 19 years. Pretty portrait, it's a portrait of Annie of Cleves. King Henry VIII of England chose his fourth bride after falling in love with her portrait, but then when he met her in person, he refused to consummate the marriage and then paid for her to be returned to Germany. He then executed his number one minister, Thomas Cromwell, for choosing her in the first place. Here's the pretty portrait. Here's the real photo. He definitely was catfished there. Mm. I've never seen Crocodile Dundee wearing one of these crocodile teeth necklaces. Joe, I can see you wearing this. Oriental wood tiger carving. I never knew that the, uh, the lip piercings of Chad Africa called the Ubangis was actually made publicly by that term by Roland Butler the publicist chief of Ringling Brothers Circus. Never knew that's where that term came from. That is pretty cool. We have an African shaman's shirt, and then a Tibetan skull, a Tibetan monkey skull ball. Joy, I found them. What? Your ancestors. My ancestors? Yeah, I remember I met your grandma. She was like that tall. She must have been shrunk. So that's why she must have been related to these shrunken heads. <laughs> I know. No? No. You don't see the family resemblance? I see it. <laughs> look at that hair. If you're trying to tell me, folks, that doesn't look like Joy's long hair. Look, I mean, it's in braids right now. I like this African shaman's fetish jar. Some cool vessels in the drum. Ooh, that's beautiful. Tibetan conch shell trumpet. I've never seen one of those before. North American Indian mule bone weapon. Oh. The African Maasai blood gourd. In our life, Joy, I want to get there in Kenya and do that. When they cut the bull's neck, they pour some of his, the blood in it, mix it with the milk, and they, they drink that for strength and protection. But the cool fact is they actually put mud on the bull's neck and he doesn't die. Ooh. We have an Okipa suspension right here. This is a good one, Joy. It's sad to say that if anyone ever wants this, you could go back and look at an old movie called A Man Called Horse, where the scene is based off. Actually, they're talking about it right there. 
Vividly portrayed by actor Richard Harris in the movie A Man Called Horse. Well, something interesting is one of the, um, I don't know if it's an artistic director, or what, had a terminology, but the guy that basically was the, his, is the historical director, maybe, is a guy named Fakir Musafar. They used to do these rituals and... Or is he like the historical consultant or something? Maybe a historical know. consultant, something like that. But sadly, a few weeks ago, he, he just passed away from lung cancer. I got to meet him years ago in Las Vegas. Interesting man. And I actually have done two human body suspensions and Joy has done one. We didn't do the chest like that though, not, no. not that. We, we use uh, more modern techniques of that. Joy, watch out! It's a man eating a clown. What up, old woman? Oh, I guess you'd be okay then. We could just keep going. <laughs> ah, Captain Jack Sparrow, I see. I see you ran your your ship ashore here. I, I like this Inuit whalebone claw. Oh, that is pretty cool. Oh, but the whale on the side. Get yeah. There's whales all throughout it. I guess we're in the nautical area. Fiji Island's money. You know what you could buy off that? You could buy your Fiji mermaids. Whale eyes, cool stuff. Scrimshaw whaler stuff, that's really cool. We have a matchstick Santa Maria. Who is the Nina and Pinta? Guy ran out of matches. Well, those two burnt to death, huh? Ooh. I like these these crucifixes. Actually, a catfish, a bone and a catfish. We have one hanging up in our uh, our study. Cold from Titanic, and I like this the coconut husk guy right here. Oh, the bathroom joy. If that's woman. Here's the men's. I gotta go. Hey, hey, close that door! Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I, j I just had to go to the bathroom. Hey, Mr. Mr. Ripley, I appreciate you having this museum here in Atlantic City. I wish I got to go to the old one, near the steel pier, but I'm glad this one's still here. You did good. You did good for yourself. I like it. So there's a lot of other people. I'm gonna go check out the rest of the museum, okay? You just gonna hang out here for a few? All right, see you later. 100 potatoes have escaped. They're all potatoes, they're just in costumes. Everything's a potato. No. The Fall of Fathom, the Berlin Wall. You can't see it, it just makes you think of Pink Floyd, where they say in it, tear down the wall, tear down the wall. The building's collapsing, and there's gonna be time for some gore now. This is an impression of a man's face after he was hit by a train. There's the train. This is crazy. I'm talking about this beast, with this guy. A guy named Joe, actually, from Blackwood, New Jersey, the bee man. So allergic to a bee sting, some uh, disease name that I'm not going to try to pronounce, that he wears this bee suit because he was stung twice in 2001, almost died. Since 2001, he's worn this every time he left the house except once the day he got married. Lady, I just got to get my rope over there. I'll be back in a second, okay? Don't worry, I'll be back, I promise. Joy, get out of here, get out of here. Still more, oh, oh. Ooh la la, there's a woman over there in a little bikini top, huh? I think, she, I think she's changing, Joy. I think she's changing. Maybe we can go around the other side, get a better glimpse. Wait, wait. Joy, where'd she go? I'm scared of her Ooh, West African jet coffin. They really need to bury this one, you know why? Because Pan Am died too. Wah, wah, wah. This is cool, this little bark coffin. It's a morning dress. When I die, Joy, instead of carrying my head on a plate, you want to wear this instead for a few years? Oh, that'd be really itchy. It only weighs over 40 pounds. Okay, you don't have to worry. It's only worn by men. Oh, okay. We have a little guillotine here. I think this is the exact model that Lorena Bobbitt used many years ago with John Bobbitt. I 
I could possibly see. It looks like the right size. Would you say, Joy? I, I think so. It's hard to wipe Dead leaves and funeral hair, definitely. Ooh. Little piece of Dracula's cape from the film with Bella Lugosi in 1931. they say, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, and bottoms up. He fell into that little jug. Captain Samuel Jones' leg, which was amputated July 7th, 1804. Ah, the premature burial. For whom the bell tolls. You can see the guys in there. Back in the day, they have the little bell attached to a string. In case you were buried incorrectly, you could ring that bell. He got a fishbone in his throat, and then he sang Angle note. Well, that's from Schenectady, New York. We have Ripley's tombstone right here, 1890. You need this stone, my wife, definitely. She's now at rest, and so am I. But it's a little dark in there, we couldn't see them. Put them in the Iron Maiden. Vlad, the Impeller, also known as Dracula. Count Dracula from 1430 to 1476. I didn't realize he was only 46 years old. Dracula actually means devil or dragon. I want a pig snot prank. Ooh, Chinese suspension torture. That has to be one of the most painful looking things I've ever seen. The Chinese executioner sword and a German executioner's outfit. Joy, there's a crystal. Should I get it for you? Sure. Get it. Okay. Oh! It made me jump a little. <laughs> a little bit. I'm, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Is it a phase? Or two people having a conversation? That's amazing. I agree quite well with you, sir. <laughs> Beware of the falling rocks. Well, why would you attach rocks into a car going out on the ceiling? That just sounds foolish. Oh, the old mine tunnel. Believe it or not, if you have a Believe It or Not exhibit, please speak to our museum manager. Do you believe it? That's the end of the museum. I think so. It looks like a normal exit from a place. A little gift shop here, it looks like. Ooh, I like that book. Special edition 2006. I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one either. Some souvenirs, some, some freaks. You can arm wrestle. You can watch this woman sit here. That's it, Joy. Believe it or not, that was the Ripley's. Believe it. I loved it. <laughs> I hope you all loved it at home. See, I think no gift shop this one. I was gonna I buy souvenirs. It's okay, you know why? So we're gonna be in another Ripley's in another three weeks. Yay! Why? I'm excited. No, I think I'm more excited about the one that we beat in a few months. In a few months, yeah. Well, they're both gonna be amazing. But for now, Atlantic City Ripley's, believe it or not, been there, done that, and for all you fine folks at home, safe travels, Good and live life. See you later. <laughs>